so it is Wednesday, October 9th, at about 3.15 p.m. I'm here in Orlando, and the Hurricane Milton should be hitting. It should hit the west coast of Florida sometime this evening, but I don't think we're going to feel it here in Orlando until, like, Thursday morning. This is what our weather is right now. It's just lightly raining, a little bit of wind. I've lived in Florida about seven years now, and this is going to be the second, technically third, hurricane to hit us while we're living in this house. One of them was really, uh, really small. It was Nicole. I barely even remember it, so that's why I say two to three. Um, we also had Ian two years ago. Now, the thing with Ian is we flooded. Like, luckily, my house is on, like, a higher point in the neighborhood, so it stopped right when it got to our garage door but the rest of the neighborhood was absolutely flooded. And according to our neighbors, it had never flooded in this area before, and they've all lived here a long time. So hoping that it doesn't flood too much, that's our biggest concern. Our backyard also tends to flood really easy when it rains, but not like just this section. We're prepared as much as we can be. So I'm gonna head inside and Wait it out. So it's 5 p.m. right now and we are eating dinner. My mom cooked to make sure we at least get one meal in in case power goes out. So it's raining quite a bit. It still hasn't hit Florida yet. I think in the next couple hours it's gonna hit. So at least we got a hot meal in. I am anxious a little bit. I'm just trying not to think about it but then I can't stop staring at the forecast and all of that and then it just sounds so dramatic outside but hopefully hopefully this all goes quickly okay so it's 5 43 p.m. and the rain has kind of calmed down a little bit so not coming as aggressive but it is gonna pick Beth up later tonight listen to all that water going down the drain my god Woo. Glad it stopped for a little bit because our there was a lot of water, so this gives it a chance to drain away a little bit before it really hits. Our backyard has al already started to flood, although to be fair, it does flood pretty much any time that we get a storm. Our backyard is not even at all, <laughs> so this area always fills up with water whenever we get a lot of rain. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back inside and watch some movies or something. Just try to kill time and take my mind off of it. Okay, it's 7 p.m. The rain has really calmed down for the time being. Sun's starting to set. My uh, Halloween lights are glowing. They're solar powered, so. Oh, a little bit of wind. It still has not made landfall on Florida yet, but it's getting really close, so. Yeah, but everybody has indicators of when they know things are bad, like, oh, Waffle House closes and um, Disney closes, yada, yada, yada. Well, my neighbors across the street, like, always have their garage door open, like, all the time. So for me, it's when they close their garage door and it's still open. They're there watching TV. So when they close it, I know the storm's about to get here because they will keep that thing open. Even a re in a regular storm, like they they don't care, but yeah, they they still got it open. So when it closes, so you know things are getting serious. Okay, so it is 8 p.m. right now. I think it just hit the West Coast, Sarasota. Let's see what it looks like outside. I can hear the wind and rain, but let's see. It's noisy, but. My neighbors still have their garage door open. <laughs> My trees are kind of blown in the wind. Can you guys see the water going across the road? In our garage, you can really hear it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right, it's 10 p.m. And as you can hear, <laughs> Neighbors are still partying hard. Door is still open. Uh, the rain has kind of stopped for now. It's like a really light drizzle. A little bit of wind. Calm down a little bit, but it still has not gotten to us yet. 
I think it's still over near Tampa right now, so it's, it's still got a ways to go. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, ooh, give me a wind in the hair type of thing. Well, it's 11 p.m. and we just lost power. We didn't lose power during the last hurricane that came through, so we were hopeful, but there it went. Let's go outside and see what it's looking like out there. All right, pretty windy. They still have their garage open, but it's picking up. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And right now it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like drenched with water. They truly don't care. I <laughs> I wish I could be that unbothered. <laughs> All right, guys. It is 1.20 a.m. It's kind of quiet right now. I'm going to go outside and see. Okay, I know it's really dark, so you can't see much. And my neighbors did finally close their garage. <laughs> so I guess it's going to get real. But this is what it is right now. I think we're supposed to get like the eye near us in the next hour or so from what i can see there's not really too much flooding which is good these things always like to hit at night <laughs> so that you cannot see at all which is terrifying i know most people will sleep through them or a lot of people do i do not obviously i got too much anxiety for that so yeah we're just gonna wait it out some more inside and wait till it cools down my mom just looks at the news update and apparently it's not until 4 a.m. that we're supposed to feel the winds. So like it's going to be calm right now and just a little bit more rain and then 4 a.m. I guess is when the winds will pick back up. So, Okay guys, so it's 3 a.m. I'm probably going to try to go to sleep because I'm just beyond exhausted at this point. It's pretty chill out here. But, but oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess it's just supposed to be windy for the next couple hours, so. Anyways, I'm going back inside. Whew. Okay, so I'm about to go to bed, but I did just watch like a, a live stream of a news channel, and they said that basically within the next hour, we're going to be starting seeing the worst of the winds, and it's going to last until like lunchtime. So... I think from like 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. is when the worst of the winds are coming and it's 3.40 right now, but I just cannot stay awake any longer. So I'm gonna try to sleep. We'll see if the winds keep me awake or not, but for now, I'm gonna try to go to bed. <sighs> okay, the winds kinda woke me up, so I came outside, but here it is. We're starting to get the the second half of the storm. It's 4.30 right now. Ooh. There she goes. It's really getting windy. Alright, this is a bit much. Oh my god. <laughs> Luckily these the walls of the house or whatever. I'm pretty blocked from the wind right now, but oh my god. You guys get the point. I'm going back inside. <laughs> this part of the storm is worse, I think, than the first half, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to sleep because the wind is just like, it's a lot. I'm so tired though and I have a headache from lack of sleep, but I just, uh, listening to it is not fun. <laughs> the good news is, though, is this is the final stretch of the storm. But it is going to take a couple hours for it to settle, so... <sighs> the joys of hurricanes. Okay, it's 6 a.m. The cat's automatic feeder woke me up still going. I mean, I still was kind of awake. I'm having a hard time sleeping through this, but yeah, it's still going. 
I'm actually surprised by how dark it is still. Usually we'd be seeing the sun more at this time. I'm just ready for it to be gone. go back inside and try to sleep. Alright guys, it's the next day. It's almost 2 p.m. I woke up probably about an hour ago. It's still no power, but otherwise we're good. We did have some damage to two of our fences, so let's go check out outside. So, this one came down a bit isn't surprising because if you can't tell it's not exactly <laughs> the best looking fence to begin with um, honestly I'm surprised it took this long for that fence to come down because all this wood is pretty crappy this is a brand new fence so it, it held up pretty good but I my mom told me there's some damage to the fence in front so let's go see that we got some tree branches down. Alright, here's, here's where it fell. Oh boy. Which, uh, the last hurricanes we had, this part fell. So, I guess it was this side's turn. Luckily, we did not have any flooding though. That was uh, one of our biggest concerns. Oh no! Collateral damage! No! You know, I had a feeling if any of the lights were going to get ruined, it was going to be this one. <laughs> the rest of my lights seem to be fine, though. My front area looks so empty without anything on it. Just some kitty cots. So, we want to get the car out of the garage, but our garage is electrical, so now we have to manually lift the garage. Let's see how this goes. All right. Stay up. All the cats are sneaking in now. Guess what came on? Literally two seconds after I opened this stupid garage. The power. <laughs> We're back in business. Electricity's going. We do laundry and all that. Woohoo! We survived. 